As a California culture bearer of my people's history, I've often thought of how can I explain to a fourth grader what happened to my ancestors and all the other ancestors that are up and down California. The ones that the Spanish came to and coerced or as the storybooks tell us that they just beckoned them to come and build the missions. How did that really happen? So let me give you an example of how I think it happened and in a way that you might understand. Imagine it's a regular school day. You're coming home and as you get to your house, the door is open. There are people in your living room that you don't know. They're dressed differently. They look differently than you. They're holding and touching things that are special to your mother. Maybe even someone has dropped it on the floor and broken it. And you say, stop that. These are my family's things. They, you go into your bedroom. Someone's sitting on your bed. Ah, this bed is comfortable. It is mine now. See those CDs over there? They're mine. That skateboard, it's mine. Everything in this room is mine. And you, oh, you can use it once in a while. When you just get so furious, you say, wait a minute, those are my things. This is my bedroom. Get out of here. You wait until my father gets here. He's going to call the police. And then they take you and they put you in a timeout and you stand there and you're furious and you're saying, wait a minute, this is my family's home. You need to get out of here. They take you to another place outside. Maybe they strap you up. Maybe they're even ready to even whip you because they are trying to make you understand that they are in charge now. Think about that. Think about what it must have been like to have someone come into California to step on the land that our people understood as home and take it for their own selves and change everything. In fact, throw you clothing that was itchy and uncomfortable. You can't even wear your Tony Hawk favorite skateboard shirt anymore because now you have to wear what they say and now you have to speak what they tell you to speak. You can't even speak your own language. You can't even do your own ceremony. It was a difficult transition and it was the beginning of the California Indian genocide for our people.